Hi everyone, welcome back. Hope you all are safe and doing very well. Yet another beautiful day with lot of positive vibes. In my today's video, I'll be sharing with you some moments when I dropped Aryan to school and coming back. Also the recipes which I made during this weekend that is Mughlai chicken curry and also grated carrot pulao. Do watch it till the end, it could be useful to you. Mornings are really fresh and beautiful. If you take a little time and spend outside, you'll feel very positive all day. At the moment, England is going through second lockdown, but then schools are still open. So every day we take time and we drop Aryan and come back. It gives us a lot of joy to see these kids around and spend some time outside. Now sharing with you all highly nutritious and creamy Mughlai chicken curry recipe. For that I am taking 250 grams of boneless chicken pieces which I already marinated using some turmeric powder and ginger garlic paste. Now into this goes 1 tablespoon of garam masala powder which is homemade and 2 tablespoons of coriander powder. I am also adding 2 tablespoons of red chilli powder. This is not very spicy red chilli powder, it's kind of Kashmiri chilli, it gives the colour. Also adding 2 tablespoons of curd and mixing all these ingredients very well. And we will marinate this again for another half an hour. Now before starting cooking, we'll make some more additional preparations, for that I'm using some nuts will make it into a smoother paste. I am using cashew nuts and badam. I also fried two onions into golden brown. Not exactly golden brown but slightly more than golden brown. These onions will make it into a smoother paste along with the nuts. It gives a special texture and flavour to the curry which is very important for this chicken. Now into this goes two chopped green chilies. We will be adding red chilli powder, green chilies and also black pepper but then because we are adding curd and lot of onions it doesn't make it very spicy. Also adding fresh coriander leaves and two tablespoons of curd. If you want you can add a little water to make it into a smoother paste. It looks like this. After that take a pan, add some oil to it. Now we'll slowly start adding the spices, black pepper, star anise, cloves, cardamom, cinnamon sticks and bay leaf. Adding little sajira at the end, once the seeds start popping up, we can slowly add the marinated chicken.
After 5 minutes in the low flame, we can now slowly add the paste which we made with the nuts and mix it properly. Since I didn't add salt so far, adding little salt as per the requirement and now adding the remaining fried onions. If you noticed, I, have, I used only half of the onions for the paste, so remaining half we will add it now. It gives a beautiful flavor while cooking with these fried onions. Also adding two more chopped green chilies and also some freshly chopped coriander leaves. We will mix all these ingredients and add little water to it as per the requirement and let it cook in the low flame for 15 minutes. These boneless chicken pieces are very tender and since we marinated it for more than one hour, they get cooked very fast. The flavors are really amazing with all the spices, green chilies, coriander and stuff. The curry is almost ready. So finally to make it more creamy, we are adding the fresh milk cream. I am using the thick cream. If you want, you can go for the light cream as well. So after adding the cream, we'll mix it well and leave it in the low flame for just 2 minutes. It shouldn't get cooked over than 2 or 3 minutes. And the Mughalai chicken curry is ready. So during this lockdown season, when you cannot go out and enjoy the dishes in the restaurant, you can make these restaurant style dishes at home and enjoy with your family. It goes very well with naan, pulkas and also pulavs. Next I'll be sharing with you all the recipe of grated carrot pulao with which this kind of curry goes very well. We all know carrots are good source of vitamin A and C. So we need to include as much as possible in our day-to-day -day diets. Sometimes we do get carrots along with its leaves which are very nutritious. But then the leaves, they have thick stems which are not so great. So it's good if you use only those tender leaves. They're very nutritious, they've got a lot of iron and it's tasty as well. So here I'm finally chopping those leaves and then I'll be grating these carrots. I also chopped one onion and two to three green chilies and kept them aside. The grated carrot pulao preparations are very simple. For that I am taking a little oil in the pan, adding some dry red chilies, and also adding some cumin seeds to it. Once the seeds pop up, I am adding the chopped onions and also the green chilies. You can wait till the onions become slightly golden brown. Now adding little bit of ginger garlic paste to it and also one and a half tablespoons of garam masala powder. You can also add some pudina leaves or bay leaves if you want to but then the carrot and the carrot leaves have its own flavor and also the garam masala powder should be okay for the regular pulao. Now adding the grated carrot along with the leaves and mixing it properly. Now adding salt as per the requirement and leaving it in a low flame 
just for two minutes because it's grated carrot and it gets cooked very fast. Now when the carrots are ready, we can slowly add the cooked rice into this. Keep adding little portions of rice and mix the rice very well with the carrots. After that you can add the remaining rice. The delicious and healthy carrot pulao is ready now. Now I am adding 2 tablespoons of ghee at the end. The flavors of ghee are very authentic especially with pulao's and biryanis. So after adding ghee we will just let it cook in the low flame just for 1 minute and we can serve immediately. I hope you liked watching today's video. Do try these recipes and share your feedback in the comment section. I would love to hear from you. Also, if you're watching my channel for the first time and if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button and also feel free to share it with your friends and family. Thank you. See you in another vlog. Bye.